I have filmed this look using this right here, the Riviera palette from TJ Maxx. This guy from TJ Maxx. This guy from TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx. <laughs> I miss TJ. Now that I've gone ahead and blended my eyeshadows, I did use the Riviera palette so far. I'm loving it. The three shades that I used today was Inheritance. I use Inheritance all over the lid. I use Cabana all in my crease area. I use that up here. And then I use Palm. My base, this is what I used. I used the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in the shade 2.5W. I found this at Marshall's. I did mention this in all my finds that I from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and all that. I put this down as my lid, my lid color, not my lid, my base color. I put that down as my base, and then I went ahead and blended. I'm nowhere near done with finished at all, but I just wanted to go ahead and clean up. I just go ahead in that motion. I'm cleaning up all that has fallen, fallen down. I personally like to jump around when I'm doing my makeup. I've started off with my eyes. I'm going into skincare. I'm going to put this guy in while I'm finishing up my other steps. It's the Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops, the hydration one. I got this at Marshalls for $10. I'm just going to um, pump out a little bit. Well, first, I'm going to go ahead and shake it. I'm going to go ahead and shake it just to be safe. And then I'm going to pour a little bit on my hands because I've already, my, my hair already washed my hands. And I'm not trying to put it directly onto my, um, it smells like roses. I have used this guy once before. I did like it. For moisturizer, I went in with the Avla Moisture Cream. It comes with a little spatula. I went ahead and just placed this all over my face. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that in. I usually blend it out with my hands unless I'm using a brush. I use a synthetic brush if I'm, uh, you know doing that but I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out everything with my hands I always put it on my neck whatever I put on my face I put on my neck I do give myself a massage you have glands like lymph nodes and glands and all that <laughs> you have all that so I like to like massage I usually go upwards because you don't want to drag that down and then I like to go from here like I put my hands here and then I massage back to like get the um to drain out my lymph nodes and my glands and just depuff my face. <laughs> After moisturizer, I always go in with primer. The primer I'm gonna use today is the Becca Brighten and Blur Primer. I got this at TJ Maxx. Oh my gosh. But like I said, it hasn't been open. It was brand new. And we're gonna try this guy out, see how I like it. The primer looks like this. I'm just gonna put a little bit. The primer feels really good. It smells really good and it feels really good on the skin. It feels really moisturizing. That's what it feels like. I just went ahead and applied my primer. I applied this guy right here. I like how it feels so far. I'm going to let it soak into my skin. My skin feels really hydrated. I like that. And I'm going to go in with my foundation. I got this guy at TJ Maxx for $14.99. I have the box right here. I saved it for you guys. I totally forgot to put this in my video. My my previous video it's the shade nc30 and i got this for 14.99 this is the first layer of that mac foundation i'm gonna go ahead and blend it out i'm liking this brush i'm like okay I'm going in to highlight my face, conceal, and then I will probably highlight afterwards. For concealer, I'm using that same uh, Laura Mercier concealer. I'm going to go ahead and put that under my eye. I'm going to go ahead and blend out that concealer with this sponge. I got this sponge at um, Marshall's. TJ Maxx, somewhere, $4. It's the equivalent of the Beauty Blender. Like, it's so soft. I love the edge, like this guy right here. It is by the brand um, Urban Urban Studio. I have it in the trash, so I'm like trying to think. When I blend out my concealer, I usually um, try to, I do like the funkiest faces, but I'm like trying to get like, stretch out my face so I don't get like, 
um, my skin so I don't get like no crease marks. At the same time, when I'm buffing out my concealer with the sponge, I like to clean up my eyeshadow just like that. I think it says beautifully on the skin, the Laura Mercier concealer. I'm going to go back in with that It Cosmetic brush. No new product. I'm just going over and tapping over to make sure that I don't have any harsh lines or anything like that. Make sure everything blends in. I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I did find it at... TJ Maxx, the little mini one. I found it in a kit, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that. So with my tongue, I will go ahead and push the skin out, like so, and I will set my smile line. I will set it with translucent powder. You guys, I have to do this. Um, after working at a doctor's office for seven years, uh, I just remember smiling so much. Like I was an office manager, so I was always like interacting with patients and customers and all that. And, um, I got smile lines <laughs> from smiling so much. So I always like to like set that. I don't want to have any issues. Um, like I can't, I don't like it when I'm like, I have those smile lines. So I just like to set this area here. I like to lock, I like to lock it in. That's what I'm trying to say. And this is how I lock in, make sure it doesn't crease. I went ahead and did my under eye and I did my, I do my under eye and my crease lines. And then I will go back in with whatever else. To set my face, I'm going to go ahead and use the It Cosmetic brush in this, the Heaven Skin brush, number 701. It's this guy right here. I did purchase it. I've been waiting to use it. I'm going to go in with that translucent powder from MAC. I set my whole face and I really like how this brush feels. And again, I'm just doing tapping motions. I'm swirling in. And I'm doing tapping, just tapping. You don't want to rub, you want to tap just to set everything because certain things may still be wet. To warm up my face, I'm going to go in with Becca in the shade Warm Honey. It's the multitasking perfect perfecting powder. I got this guy at TJ Maxx. I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit on the back of my brush. And then I always like to go in to my forehead around my hairline. And I just... As you guys can see, I'm just tapping. And I do that to the whole perimeter of my forehead. I've gone ahead and done my forehead. I'm gonna go ahead and contour a little bit. Now that my face is all bronzed up, I'm gonna go in with blush. For blush, I'm going with, with NARS. Uh, this is that palette right here, that palette that I showed you guys. I'm gonna go in with this color up here. I'm just going in with a Sephora brush. I'm gonna see how this looks. Oh, that's cute. Sometimes I like to turn my brush like on its side and do like a, like a dusting. To contour my nose, I use the Chocolate Soleil uh, bronzer. I use this matte bronzer. This is a mini one. I got this one from Sephora, but I got the, like, once I realized that I really like this guy, I got the big one, like the mama size, uh, full size at TJ Maxx, and I got it for $10. I have that in my backups, but this guy I still use because it lasts forever. Um, it's what I use to, like, con like, contour my nose. This brush, I love this brush to contour my nose. It's the Sonia Cashew number 106 brush. It's this little brush right here and it's a detailed brush just like so. You can use this for cream contour. I like this for powder. Powder is really great. I went ahead and blended out my nose contour and then with the whatever's left over, I bring it under my lip. It gives my lip like a more fuller look. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of highlighter using the Laura Mercier brush and the bobby brown highlighter that i've had in my collection for a while now i kind of wanted to just try out the brush and not um not a new highlighter today i just want to to see how i feel about this guy because i'm already familiar with okay i kind of i kind of digging the shape um i just like tap in i just tap in a little bit like that and then apply as so it hugged my face very well I'm gonna move on to brows. I don't have anything 
that I could think of from TJ Maxx that is my shade. Um, so I just go ahead and pulled up for my collection. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. I use the Precisely My Brow uh, by Benefit in the shade six. I usually just go ahead and start off at the bottom very lightly. just like that and then I go ahead and fill it in from the top I go I just follow my natural shape so I'm just gonna go up and as you can see like I'm missing hair right here I go ahead and go slightly up I usually turn my head to see exactly where I'm gonna start curving I think I'm gonna go back and finish my eyes I've gone ahead and finished my brows they look amazing now. Um, I actually really love this guy. Uh, I use it for the gym. <laughs> it's sweat proof. I want to do a pop of color under my eyes. Like, I'm going to go with that color right there. Kind of goes with my nails. <laughs> I want to do with that color. And I'm going to, like, smoke that out. I'm going to go in with that blue shade. And I'm going to go under my eyes. I'm going to see how this looks. Now that I've blended in that blue color, um, I can't say it. I'm going to try, though. It's Say cheles. Okay, so when I see a word, sometimes I'm like, how do you say that? Because it's Spanish. I'm like, how do you say that? And, like, in Spanish, the two L's, oh, gosh, two L's, it's this color right here. The two L's make a J sound in Spanish. So, like, sometimes I'm like, how do I say that? And I'm going to go ahead and grab cabana which is that same color that I went in with the crease, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that color under. I like how it came out, it looks really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm probably gonna just intensify the blue just a little bit more. I went ahead and used MAC Strip Down as the lip contour, um, my lip liner. And then I'm going in with the shade Anias. This guy I got at TJ Maxx. Before I forget, I need to set my brows. I wanted to use the the one I got for like a dollar at Kohl's. It's the um, the Billion Dollar Brow. And it's this guy right here. I just wanted to put a little bit. See how I feel about it. I actually like how it set my brows. I only put a little bit on. I'm going in with this shade right here. I'm just going to put a little bit on a detailed brush. I'm going to pop that in to my inner corner. Just a tiny bit. Not not too much just to like bring you see that you see that do you see the difference like this one I just put a dot this one has nothing now you don't want to go overboard when you do this because you can look really crazy. for lashes I'm gonna go in with Din Din I got this on tjmax.com's website again this guy right here is uncut this one is already cut I'm gonna go ahead and glue these on um, but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and use black track um, by Mac I got this this one I got you know at the store um, but the brush this brush is the brush I was talking about guys this is the 266 brush this is the short handle brush I do have the long one and this is the shape that it comes this is brand new so I just want to show you guys I actually bought this the whole nutcracker set just for this guy because I swear by this guy to do your wing liner even if you're like a beginner this like this is what i use when i in the beginning i'm gonna try really hard to like record this um i'm just gonna put a little bit of back on the back of my hand that uh that black track eyeliner it's a gel eyeliner i'm just putting a little bit on the back of my hand like whatever's left over because i don't want to put too much on my brush and then like mess up everything i'm just gonna go ahead and follow the direction of like my eye Just like that. I'm not going to do too much. And then I just went ahead and twisted the brush. So it will be going in like this. I lay it just like this. And then I go right back. I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes right before I put on mascara. I'm going to go ahead and put lashes on. 
After I apply the lash, I always like to go in and tight line uh, just to make the lash look more um, more realistic. Let's be real, it doesn't look, but just to make it blend. I went in with this guy. This is the No Poor Plum. No problem, but it's spelled like poor, so no problem, no poor bloom. Uh, priming eraser. I have used this guy right here. I went ahead and cleaned up a little bit right here because it was acting up. And then I just used this guy to erase it and it worked really well. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and darken it up a little bit. For my lash glue, I just used the Kiss, Kiss Lash Glue. I used the Strip, Hep, strip Adhesive. Uh, with alloy and clear. This is the one I use. Um, it's kind of old. I need a new one. To tight line my eye like up here, I use the this guy right here, the gel eyeliner by Marc Jacobs. I'll link it down below. It's in black. I like this one in particular because it does not, I have wear contacts. Oh, it does not get into my contacts. It doesn't budge. This guy is waterproof. I've cried in this. No problem. Uh, the only thing is that I have found this guy at TJ Maxx, like the mini one in a kit and it was dried out. It was like a waste of money. It was like $12. I'm just highlighting my nose. I'm almost done. Testing out makeup pearls from TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I like this guy right here. Liked it. And I can't wait to do more looks. If you guys have any requests on like a certain color, let me know. I can create that for you. I hope you guys liked this like Egyptian inspired gold with teal and brown. I hope you guys liked it. I feel like I could go out right now, like to a party. I would even go to church like this.